I really, really, really enjoyed this board. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to review my first ever electric skateboard purchase ever. I was going through a lot of videos and there was a few boards that I was interested in that ended up being sold out. So I ended up settling on the Backfire G2T and I kinda of wanted to give you guys my full overview of what I was expecting versus what I got. Without waiting any further, let's just jump into what I noticed about this. And again, this is um, somebody who is pretty decent at snowboarding. I don't do really any skateboarding at all. And this was just something for me to stretch my legs in the summer and kind of have something that's high end, but also fun and something to do while I'm not snowboarding. Although I like skateboarding, it just has a very grungy, simple feel. I don't know, something about snowboarding just feels so premium and so quick. And that's kind of what I was trying to replace with this. So this was a very, very easy to use out of the box. I actually ordered a free board, which is a, it's like a skateboard that feels like a snowboard while you're on like the concrete and the asphalt and that kind of really wasn't for me you had to build that board this thing came fully set up you literally take this out the box and you take the controller right here and you press two buttons and it works right away when I mean, you're paying a lot for a premium product i paid 550 dollars for this normally 600 you're really going to want it to just work right away and to eliminate the fears that you're going to have of trying a product that you've never tried before that you have all this expectation for you spent all this money i'm just so glad it came right out the box working they came at 60 percent charged on the board and the remote so it was good to go so people said that there's large wheels and small wheels these ones did come with both sets sets of wheels but I'm pretty sure the large wheels have been installed and that's pretty much the only wheels that I've been riding if I do kind of like a six month or a year down the line review on this I will let you know how the wheels lasted and it's kind of nice getting two sets of wheels because that was the first thing I was thinking I'm gonna have to replace it's nice to get two and by then I probably will have tried both and I'll give you guys a nice early assessment but so far this is based on the bigger longboard wheels okay, so the turbo mode is noticeably quicker it was pretty nice but I will say that the whole kind of board slowly loses performance the board has eco mode sport mode and turbo mode and sometimes the sport mode will be faster than the turbo mode if say you try the sport mode right off the bat and go to max as fast as you could go and if you're somewhere around half charge and you go to turbo mode that actually may be a little bit slower than sport mode but when it's fully charged turbo mode is noticeably faster and it is nice to have something if you want to say race somebody or go uphill and just have a little bit of extra power you have the ability to use it and it would be nice to have it like 24 7 or have it be a little bit more smooth but so far i really really enjoyed it there is a momentum jerk pretty much with all aspects of the board when you're first taking off and when you're first slowing down it will kind of um shift your momentum you know a little bit either way this again this is coming from somebody who's never owned an electric skateboard so i can't really compare it to the other ones if it has more or less jerk i will say that it definitely is noticeable right when you get on but after a day or two of riding i, I don't really notice it much at all and I usually use the sport mode because the sport mode, mainly the reason I use the sport mode is because of the brakes. That's another thing I'm gonna wrote down here. I didn't like using eco mode mainly because the brakes were very, very slow. Um, and eco mode, it gets you going pretty fast. So if you're used to how um, sport mode brakes and you're using eco mode and you're like coming really close to somebody and you're planning on having the same um, braking power, um, it's not gonna be there with eco mode. So I kind of just didn't really like that because I feel a little less safe. If for some reason I have to stop, I have a lot less time, but also at the same time, like I was saying, it does have a little bit of a jerking motion. So if you use the eco mode, somebody could push the controller up and down really quick. It won't really have as much of a jerk effect. Whereas the sport mode you kind of have the inch onto the brake an inch onto the gas. That's usually how I do it. It's a thin, long design with a spoon shape. So it's a, kind of like a very narrow board. That's why people probably want to tighten the trucks. If you look at the reviews on this, everyone says they tighten the trucks right away. I have a size 11 and a half foot. So my foot kind of overhangs and on top of that the board has a little bit of like a spoon in the middle which is kind of nice because it helps you hold carves a little bit better provides less of like a straight riding feel because the board isn't flat so be, by tightening the trucks it just provides a more stable feel because the board kind of naturally wants to go on edge because it is very thin and it is spoon shaped but like I said, once you've tightened up the trucks, you're fine. I really enjoy the screen and the information. I know the Backfire G2 did not have the screen and information. I actually really, really like it. When you look down, you can see if you're in sport mode, if you're in eco mode, you check the miles per hour and it also has an odometer. I think I'm around 200 kilometers um, ridden right now. Pretty good amount of time to test this. And I'm actually glad that I kept testing this over and over and over. They kind of got a more 
a well-rounded opinion by trying it um, for a longer period of time. I wish I could switch off the kilometers into miles per hour, but that's fine. I think other boards you could do that, but it's not a big of a deal. You could always just convert it over. On a side note, the fastest I went on this was 41 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure how much that is in miles per hour. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. And that wasn't necessarily the max max. Like I tried it a bunch of times and that was the fastest I could go, but the fastest I got was 41 kilometers per hour. I've had no issues and I've had no falls with it. I've had literally no lag at any time with this remote. Never at any point do I hit it and it just doesn't really work. Like I said, you're used to sport mode, you go to eco mode, it's gonna perform differently. Besides that, it's been very, very, very flawless and you kind of need that with something as dangerous as this could be if the remote was not working correctly and it's just absolutely flawless. And like I said, I've had no falls, which is just a blessing. I should probably wear a helmet more often when I wear this. So it's got decent stability, but half the terrain isn't really worth riding. If you've got something that's really beat up or any sort of rough area, you're not gonna wanna go fast through this. It's not gonna be healthy on the board and it's not gonna be that fun of a ride. But at the same time, if you do go over minor bumps, minor little things, it is gonna go over them pretty well. So I would say this is kind of in the middle. This is definitely not an all-terrain board. I have um, a lot of streets around me that I just really can't go on, but half the streets I can, half the streets I can't. And we get a lot of heat down here in Southern California, so the heat definitely messes with the road. So I just definitely want to say there's a lot of terrain that I could see someone buying a more expensive board to make it easier for something with maybe some more like bike tires on it or something like that. Lots of people noted the stability of the board versus other boards. I haven't really tied that out because this is my first electric skateboard. I would say it's right in the middle. There are there were some times where it just kind of went over problem areas with ease, which I really, really liked. In my opinion, this is very, very, very bad at tight turns, which is to be expected because it's a long, thin board. but. Um, for how often you run into traffic or if you're like say on a bike path that turns at a 90 degree angle You're pretty much gonna have to get off the board and move it really frustrating because you know Sometimes you're doing stuff the boards heavy Sometimes there's traffic and things like that and it just you need a like a little bit of a curve to get into the turn If it's really abrupt, I haven't been able to do it So turbo mode stops working at about 40% battery that was kind of annoying But like I said around 50 to 60 percent the turbo mode wasn't really that strong anyways It's really better for long straight uh, pathways like public walking areas that aren't too crowded um, to me I didn't like I said I wouldn't really want to ride this too much on streets unless they were very smooth the turning you're not super super agile at turning so there's so many traffic you know issues that sometimes you just want to avoid riding on the road and then it is kind of a little bit annoying um, riding it on the sidewalk because you kind of have to deal with the bumps over and over and over. So it's really best for a long, smooth path and kind of just getting from A to B if it's somewhat smooth. I think it's supposed to be like 15 miles per charge and I get at least like 11 or 12, I would say. Um, just you know doing all sorts of speeds and all sorts of stopping things like that I'm very interested in getting a small board or maybe even a more urban board I was thinking about this I really really do enjoy this board it does a lot of stuff But I was thinking I really would like something a little more nimble and easy to get around corners And then I also would want something that I could go on all the rough terrain if I really really wanted to So in that case if I did buy a small board and I did buy an all-terrain board I wouldn't have as much of a use for this but it is so great and so solid and covers so so many bases as a first board that's kind of what i would want the turbo mode lasts for 30 seconds and maybe on the screen it tells you when it's going to turn off but you're kind of just guessing when it's going to turn off and when it does it vibrates the controller and kind of jolts the board and one time i was trying out the turbo mode when i went 41 kilometers an hour and i was kind of coming up against a wall but i was trying to max out my top speed I was breaking really aggressively kind of more aggressively than i have at all on this board and i was like you know kind of struggling to maintain my balance and while that was happening the turbo mode kicked off and the board like jolted while i was really out of balance on this turn and i almost like crashed twice so that turbo mode really needs some tune-up i think it either needs to be a smooth entryway back into sport mode or it needs to kind of buzz the controller a little bit, letting you know it's about to turn off so it doesn't just jump off right when you're doing something insane or trying, you know, because you have to put your momentum in a certain way when you speed up and when you slow down. So if the board just jolts randomly, you know, your weight's completely not where it should be. My overall thoughts is that I'm very, very, very happy with this purchase. I've had so much fun with it so far. Getting from A to B, if you know how to skateboard, you pick this up, it's just fun right off the bat. Um, everything worked better and easier than I expected. I really, really, really enjoyed this board. 
I'm uh, very interested to see what you think of this board or what board you'd recommend. Um, if you tried this board versus other boards, my buddy's just getting the Meeple V3, so I'll probably do a little bit of testing on that. Um, it's supposed to be a little faster than this, but overall, very, very good. And um, I was kind of knocking the stability, but in recent um, times riding this, I was really surprised how smooth and stable it was. Although, it, you know, you, you can't go on the roughest things ever. It's just really nice. Let me know what you think of Backfire G2T. Let me know what you think of electric skateboards. Do you skate? Do you snowboard? Do you electric skateboard? I'd be very interested to see down below. What board should I look into next or anything like that? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.